this is a very simple switch we use this in our home to turn on and turn off any electrical devices now look at this thing this is called a transistor this also works like a switch and it is present mostly in every electronic device that we use daily from computers to smartphones and in fact it is the backbone and building block of today's modern electronics so what is a transistor well the transistor is a semiconductor device that is used to amplify or switch electronic signals and electronic power so here is the small transistor it's a bipolar junction transistor also called a bjt uh, this particular transistor is npn and it's made of a three layers of n type and p type silicon so as you can see in this diagram we have one p type silicon layer sandwiched between the two silicon layers as you can see in this circuit diagram of the transistor it basically has three layers the top one called collector the middle one is called a base and the last one is called emitter which is marked by this small arrow so when the small amount of current start to flow from base to emitter a depletion region forms between the base and emitter and electron starts to conduct and flow through the base to the emitter transistor is a current control switch so if you provide a very small amount of current from the base to the emitter then the much larger current will flow from the collector to the emitter and the transistor will switch on now since the much larger current can flow from the collector to emitter the transistor can also be used as an amplifier to amplify weak signals so in this example what we have is a simple switching circuit we have this breadboard here and it is connected to the 5 volt of power supply so according to this diagram we are connecting the plus 5 volt to the led through this resistor resistor is required to limit the current without the resistor led will burn instantly as there is nothing to stop or limit the current we are using 330 ohm resistor here the positive 5 volt will flow through the resistor and then further the led is connected to this hard switch and which then connects the circuit to the negative terminal and the circuit completes it's very very simple circuit so let's try if i close the switch the led turns on and if i open the switch it switches off on off on off very simple now let's start doing the same thing with the transistor we know that since transistor is also switch it should do exactly the same thing but because transistor is a soft switch that means it doesn't need you to touch it to open or close but instead it needs some type of electrical signal to do the switching so for this example we will use a small switch as alternative to generate the signal later i will also show you what i mean by signal and how we can use different components to make that signal happen automatically in this another schematic you can see we have the same resistor connected to the plus 5 volts after that we have the led which is then connected to the collector of the transistor then here we also take another resistor and connect it to the 5 volt supply another layer of the transistor is connected to this small tactile switch and then the other end of the switch is connected to the base of the transistor the emitter of the transistor then gets connected to the negative terminal so what will happen is that the current will flow from the plus 5 volts from the resistor and to the collector but since the transistor is off it will not go further now when we press this switch it sends small amount of current to the base then the transistor turns on and the led glows as the collector connects with the emitter and circuit completes this is working exactly like our hard switch example 
now let's see how we can do the same thing but using another component to generate the signal to turn on the transistor so we have, we have to remove that tactile switch and use some other components which can generate a signal for us so this is an LDR sensor it acts like a resistor based on the amount of light it receives. So it is like a resistor whose resistance will increase or reduce based on the amount of light it light present in the room. I like to use this LDR to generate signal. So instead of using the small tactile switch, we will use the light to turn on or turn off the transistor. So what I did in this schematic is I removed the switch and used this LDR sensor to generate a signal for us. So let's try it. Right now there is enough light coming on this LDR sensor. So its resistance is very low and the current is flowing through it to turn on the sensor. So the LED is on. But what happens if I try to cover the LDR with my finger? Well, as you can see, the LDR turns off because the LDR resistance becomes very high as I cover the LDR sensor with my finger. And that stops the current flow to the base of the transistor and the transistor turns off and the LED also turns off. So in this case, the LDR is triggering the transistor switch. This can be useful in case where you want to turn on or off something based on the light conditions. So this is just one example of how we can generate a signal for the transistor and there are many many other ways we can do this. So I hope you must have learned something new today. If so, then hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you and see you again.